The long-awaited airdrop of the FLR token is unceremoniously dumped by most of the XRP community. Besides, the XRP lawsuit is moving toward the much-awaited summary judgment. However, the infamous Hinman speech-related documents are still in focus. We are also going to be looking at why the outcome of Ripple vs. SEC battle is of paramount importance for dozens of tokens. Finally, can XRP soar as high as $80? If this sounds like something of much interest to you, be sure to check out this new video starting now. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel, where we talk about the latest updates on XRP and the cryptocurrency world in general. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, we happily send you a special welcome. We invite you to hit on the notification bell so you never miss another video. We are announcing that this channel has a giveaway of 200 XRP to stand the chance of participating. All you have to do is simply subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment with the hashtag XRP and the winner will be announced on January 15th. Two years ago, a project called Flare Networks promised to bring smart contract functionality to the XRP ecosystem by airdropping a new token called FLR to all XRP holders. Beginning on Monday, that airdrop finally happened and the FLR token has been made available for trading on a number of decentralized exchanges, but the reaction from the market has been less than enthusiastic. As soon as the FLR tokens were made available, the price immediately dropped by 73%, a clear indication that traders and investors have not been impressed by the long-awaited airdrop. This can be attributed to a variety of factors, including the overall bearish sentiment in the crypto market, as well as a lack of enthusiasm for the Flare Network project itself. Many have criticized Flare for taking so long to deliver on their airdrop promise, and there are also concerns about the project's centralization, with a small group of nodes having control over the network. Additionally, the Flare team has not been able to secure any partnerships with major companies or institutions, further diminishing investor confidence in the project. Despite the poor reception, some experts believe that the Flare network still has the potential to make an impact in the crypto space. The ability to run smart contracts on the XRP ledger could be a game changer, especially if Flare is able to attract developers and businesses to build on its platform. The Flare network's ability to run smart contracts is based on a new consensus algorithm called Avalanche, which was developed by a team at the Interactive Coin Offering Research Lab. This algorithm has the potential to solve some of the scalability issues that have plagued other blockchain projects and could make Flare a valuable addition to the crypto ecosystem. On the other hand, the infamous Hinman speech related documents and emails have been one of the most talked about topics in the long running US SEC vs. Ripple lawsuit. The commission has lost all of its assertions over the documents till now. However, the SEC is still trying to protect the memos from being released publicly. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. The XRP lawsuit is moving toward the much-awaited summary judgment with an existing dispute over the Hinman memos. Ripple in its latest filings mentioned that these disputed speech documents are judicial documents. Ripple and the defendants highlighted that these memos are relevant to the court's consideration of the party's summary judgment motions. While the SEC has not been able to overcome the strong presumptions of public access, the SEC has lost its assertions over the Hinman speech documents about six times in the XRP lawsuit. After receiving backlashes from the court, the commission finally surrendered the disputed memos to the Ripple and defendants. Meanwhile, it doesn't want these docs to go out in public. The court filing reveals that the defendant wants the judge to reject the SEC's request to seal the Hinman speech documents. Ripple has heavily relied on these memos in their briefs in order to support their summary judgment motions. Ripple added that the court's suggestion that Hinman memos may have only narrow admissibility at the trial was based on an incomplete record. At that time, they didn't have reviewed the documents in order to develop or set forth their arguments which carried potential relevance to the SEC's claim. However, the court now holds the advantage of Ripple and the defendants reviewing the doc and picking out the considerable relevance of statements mentioned in the disputed memos. Furthermore, New Zealand-based XRPL node validator shares his views on the most pessimistic outcome of the Ripple vs. SEC legal battle. XRPL node validator who goes by ReplytonNZ came to Twitter to share his views on the possible influence of the hypothetical anti-Ripple verdict of the U.S. court. 
Should Ripple fail to protect its position, XRP token, a core asset of the XRP ledger ecosystem, will be deemed an unregulated security. This, in turn, could lead to a huge domino effect. As per the estimation of a replied in NZ, the majority of U.S. headquartered or U.S.-based companies cannot operate their XRPL-based tokens without using XRP. As such, the lion's share of XRPL-based assets will also be deemed securities. All of their issuers might be sued for operations with unregulated, unregistered securities or investor fraud. Also, the teams of the projects will be obliged to activate buyback mechanisms for the assets that have already been released to the free market. As covered by analysts previously, Ripple representatives opposed the SEC's motion to seal the documents that were previously submitted in the court proceedings. Patrick L. Riley, a founder of Reaper Financial, a platform designed to mint, store, trade and exchange NFTs on XRP Ledger, admits that his project might replace XRPL with some other technical platform. It would be most inconvenient. We would transition to another chain if needed. However, we have plenty of legal recourse between now and that potential scenario. As reported previously, Gene Hoffman, CEO at Chia Network Blockchain, is sure that Ripple will lose its two-year-long battle with the SEC. Now, down to the big question of the day. Can XRP soar as high as $80? Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. Egret Crypto has followed up on his prediction of the next XRP bull run with a prediction of the price target of the said bull run. In a tweet today, the prominent analyst asserted that the asset could soar as high as $80. However, in the short term, Egrag sees the asset clinching the $0.60 cents price point before plummeting to $0.22. Cents. Recall that Egrag predicted that the next bull run for the asset would kick off on July 1st. He based the analysis on the fact that the last bear cycle from the highs ran for 27 months before starting a new bull cycle. The analyst has pointed out that we are in the 21st month of the current bear cycle. Extending on this analysis, Egrek says that if the market follows the same rhythm as it did in the past, XRP will clinch the $80 price point. By counting the number of candles on the monthly chart shared by Egrek, it places the $80 prediction for May 2024. Such a price move represents a 22,902% upside potential for XRP. The asset is exchanging hands for $0.36 cents at press time, up 4% in the last 24 hours as it faces resistance at the $0.38 cents price point. It bears mentioning XRP has started the year positively in terms of institutional inflows, bucking the overall crypto market trend. As reported yesterday, XRP saw $3 million in inflows in the first week, while other major crypto assets like Bitcoin and Ethereum saw millions in outflows. The asset which sentiment tapped as its crypto pick of the month has also seen an over 38% surge in trading volume today, indicating increased investor interest. The ruling in the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission case against Ripple will likely play a pivotal role in XRP's price trajectory. CoinShares tapped the increasing clarity in the case as the reason for increased institutional interest. Today, attorney James K. Fillon shared the responses to omnibus motions filed by both parties yesterday as the case nears its end. For the latest scheduling update, both parties will file Daubert motions to exclude expert testimony on January 13th. Fillon predicts a ruling will come in Q1 2023. So we come to the end of this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, you can help enlighten others just like you have been enlightened by sharing this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news everywhere, guys. If you are a true cryptocurrency fan, don't miss any of our content. See you tomorrow to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community.